God bless any of the righteous who may be viewing this video. <clears throat> may you be strengthened in the Holy Spirit so that you can have ears for understanding. This video is not for any Satanist that may be watching my video. I pray against you and all your wickedness to try to harm me while I'm posting information on these channels about my son and about my pregnancy. I ask that the Lord break all your power from watching my videos and then trying to harm me and doing operations around me in the area where I am currently right now because of the videos and the information that I'm putting out there in the name of Jesus Christ. So let me just go ahead and say for the Christians, and I don't mean the Bible thumping Christians like they tried to call me. No, a Bible thumping Christian is a Christian that's going to hear about a mother saying that these people threaten to rape and molest my child and are lying about my pregnancy and they're going to turn around and go hang out with the people that did it and then try to help them cover it up. That's a Bible thumping Christian. That's what they are in all of these churches in America. They are Bible thumping Christians because they're going to sit around and continue to be cool with the whites that did this. They're going to continue to allow people to try to set me up on the streets like a drug addict and a prostitute. And then they're going to run around and go to church on Sunday and pass around the collection plate while falsifying scriptures about Jesus Christ. When they know that they Satanist. And they're not going to tell y'all the truth about Jesus Christ. They're never going to tell the truth in righteousness. You're going to have to figure it out for yourself. So when it comes to my child, I'm walking in the power of Jesus Christ. And I'm going to keep telling. I'm going to keep saying, telling. That these people threaten to rape my child. And these people threaten to molest my baby and murder him. And ain't no law against me telling about it. So I pray against all the operations that people are doing around me to try to keep me from having my phone charged and from try to keep me from being by myself in a healthy environment where I can tell the truth. And I pray against all these people that y'all got out here following me, trying to stop me from telling the truth. So to the Christians out there, they pulling operations to have me outside. And if they do offer for a place for me to stay, they trying to silence me and lie about my pregnancy. And they got people following me right now. I'm on far, I'm passing, hold on. I'm on Peachtree Road, crossing over Far Road. And over the past two days, I done had two black males bring me to two certain locations, well, try to bring me to locations and then pull the Satanist tactic on me. Now the Satanist tactic is when something bad has happened to an African-American woman and they want to continue to do it and they don't want to take her side. They start to do the Satanist tactic and that's when they'll send in black males and I have a black male over there listening, but I don't care, this is on social media so I'm not gonna allow you to bother me. So anyway, the Satanist tactic is that he gonna try to come in and act like he wanna help you. He gonna try to come in and act like, oh, he care about you. And the next thing you know, he gonna be trying to say, oh, well, all of us just need to get along. All us black and white people, it's not about, it's not about uh, color. No, it is. It got everything to do with color. My color got everything to do with what them people did to me and my baby in that jail and what they threatened to do to my son and how they think they're going to have people leaving me outside and setting me up and trying to silence me and follow me because of the color of my skin. It have everything to do with that. So we're not going to do the Satanist tactic over here. Another Satanist tactic is they want them to try to come and act like they like me. Come and act like they want to take me out. Come and act like they want to uh, just have sex. But the truth is, y'all over here worshiping these white women. And you cannot try to make me feel like I'm your strong African queen when you ain't going to get in my baby and when you're not standing up for me. 
So I'm just going to stand outside. It's drizzling. And I'm walking past Raymond James uh, little building right here. Let me just show y'all hell. And it's people all around on every corner. It was a black man following me right there, and there's a white woman right there at that corner. And they're going to come up on me at every corner. They won't leave me the hell alone. Keep walking past me, trying to intimidate me, coming out of all these buildings. You know, like, really. It is very racist. And it's satanic. So this is for the real Christians. It has everything to do with color. The devil is white. Period. So they doing wickedness. And then you want to try to make somebody out to be like she's a terrorist. And we're, we're possibly they could be doing some sort of operation on her because of her good. No. It's a white man. And it's satanic. That's what it is. You know, and it's satanic. He walking all in front of me and the black dude was just walking across. And then there's satanism. Because Satan is white. And the most high taught me that. He called them out. Because I didn't know. I started to figure it out. Because of their evil. And then so, it just reminded me about Korean. I be like, Lord, please don't let me end up like Korean. Because Korean was on Facebook Live, y'all. Talking about the devil is in my door, y'all. So she knew. And see, when I was in the jail, um, they had a girl screaming named Kehlani. And they erased my channel. But I'm not afraid. They had a girl named Kehlani. Kehlani. And she was screaming in the vision while I was in the jail while they were trying to do that to me. And Kehlani was screaming and the Holy Spirit caused me to go up to her and say, what's wrong? I already knew what was wrong. Y'all letting these white people do this to me and y'all scared. And so I just, the Holy Spirit caused me to ask her what was wrong because there's some sort of remorse in her spirit because the Father God anointed me. It was some sort of remorse in this woman's spirit because she was screaming. Like, damn, look what they over there doing to her back there in that jail. Now, they done did worse to me since I've been out the jail. But they like, look at what they been doing to her. And she was screaming. And the Holy Spirit caused me to go over to her and ask her, what's wrong? She didn't want to say. Because they telling them not to talk. They got them scared, like, oh, you better not say nothing. You better not do this. You better not do that if they wanted to help. And something about an oath. And so it got everything. And Kaylani said, oh, she said, tell them the truth to one of the black guys that know about it, that they was all clicked up with. And Jason Lee, the gay man, was in the room, the light-skinned one from out there in Hollywood, the homosexual acting one. He was in the room, but it was another black man. And Kaylani was like, tell her the truth. Tell her why they after them. So it's me and somebody else. Could be my children. But she was like, tell her why. It was like, because they know who we are. And all the thing I knew was that this is what I found out about Hollywood. I'm going to tell the fucking truth since motherfuckers want to try to kill me and fuck with me around my apartment while my baby daddy was in jail. So y'all know I always wanted to be a singer and all that stuff. So of course I was going to do my research. Of course I was going to research the motherfucking place where I wanted to go. Then they were doing all this dumb ass shit. They were doing dumb ass shit. You know what I'm saying? Like my mama was like, I'm going to drop you off out there. I was like, man, fuck that. I don't want to go out there. They was doing dumb shit. And I heard about the gangs and all that. I was like, man, I don't want to go out there around no bullshit like that. I heard about how racist they was out there. And I was like, man, I just do my career. I just enjoy my gift. I ain't gonna let nobody tell me I can't do what I wanna do in my life because I ain't a certain color because I don't worship the devil. Yeah, I found out about that. I found out about motherfuckers being out there in Hollywood talking about you worshiping Satan and shit. Now, yeah, I knew. That's why the fuck I was like, man, fuck that shit. I can still do what I wanna do, my gifts, without all that. I don't gotta go out there. And I did a little bit more research because I seen people hindering me. Like, I was like, maybe I do need to go out there and just do it. You know, like once I got a little older, and I was like, maybe I'm, I'm a Christian, but maybe there'll be opportunities for me. And I, I, I was noticing that it was a lot of sick shit going on in the music and a lot of sick shit going on just period in the industry all over the United States when you listening to the shit. And then you looking at TV, seeing people throwing up shit that, like, nigga, what the fuck? 
Like, you can do music, check your booty and all that shit and still love Jehovah, still love God. What the fuck is y'all doing? So I went on ahead and looked it up. Because people were trying to already entice me away from Jesus Christ. They was always talking about him. They was always saying something bad about God. Like, I didn't even really know who the, new, who the real God was, but they just kept attacking Jesus. So like, let me do some research. I'm a philosopher. So like, let me do some research on every uh, religion that I can uh, find out about. And every type of, uh, you know, um, God that they call on. And I, as I did my research, Jesus was the one who they was attacking the most. Turns out, excuse me, sir. Turns out, yeah, Martin had just draw somebody out. But uh, see, uh, turns out, Jesus was the real one. He was the real one. And that was the one who they was attacking the most. So anytime you hear somebody say something about me, or you hear somebody attack me, it's because I'm the real one. You know what I'm saying? I'm the real one. I'm the real deal. I'm telling the truth about these folk. So that's why they're going to attack me. Believe that. And it's the same th way with God. It was the same way with God. I found out the truth. Them people was out there doing. Somebody had said, this is when people really started fucking with me a lot. Because some of them people was out there talking about, man, and they trying to sodomize everybody out there. They trying to sodomize all the men out there. And the men were like, and eh, please. The men was like, man, this shit crazy. And motherfuckers was trying to get the fuck up out of there. And then they were like, oh, Andrea knows what's going on. She know who we is. She know we devils. Because I knew, like, y'all doing evil, man. Y'all always doing evil to somebody. And you watch. So when I got down and looked that shit up, of course I was wanting to know, is that Satan? You know what I'm saying? After a while, yeah, I did. Because you're always doing wickedness to people. you always doing wickedness. Every time we go to the store, these white women mean mugging the fuck out of us. Every time we at work, they mean mugging the fuck. They hurting us all on our job. They want to hurt us at the hospital when we having our kids. They want to hurt us all through the neighborhood. Oh, they don't want to be around us. They don't want to share the good the good things in life. They want they sell to have everything. I'm looking at that's the wicked. Shit, I work just as hard as your ass did. So what the fuck you getting mad every time you see me with something fuck? And then trying to fuck it up, that's wicked. Then you look to the white man and black man tell her to stop. Because they do that with black women. They got black men out here trying to hurt me for, on some bullshit. So I'm like, man, you, you would think that the white man would go to them and be like, man, stop treating them black women like that. And they never did. They sat over there with their nose up even fucking higher. Like, uh-uh, you ain't shit compared to her. And it's like, okay, ain't nobody trying to compare myself. Y'all the one doing the comparisons. Trying to make it seem like she, they so much better than us. And you know, then want to get along with the black man and try to have him treating uh, us like they better. So I knew that was wicked. And just everything in general, I started realizing I needed to see God for myself. And they started doing witchcraft on me. People in my family, high, high level witches and sorcerers. And I didn't even realize what was going on. And it was when I started doing the research about the uh, religions, about which one was real. And they all, they erased this off my channel. All the religions went back to Satan. Except for the Bible. Except for the Bible. If anything, Satan was the one who crucified, them people crucified Jesus Christ. Okay? Because God showed me himself covered in blood. And I know they probably was the ones who did it. Because I see how they feel about our people. And I see how they got the uh, African Americans uh, acting like they don't like black people and trying to set black people up and try to act like they white in order to be able to survive out here. And then it's a hell of a price to have to pay. Because you're going to have to pay the price that all of the white people got to pay that's been doing this to black people. Every city that they done had, there has been the killing of black people. You ain't never heard of no cities where black people just been killing white people, not just because. Now you don't have some revolts and you don't have some people protecting themselves where white people probably got hurt. 
But you ain't never heard of no black cities that had white people up in their cities. All fucked up. And was killing them people like that. Not a string of different cities and history of it. But these people have a long history and it's deeper than just America. See, you can say, oh yeah, that's just American history because of slavery. Yeah, you can say that. That does have a lot to do with the murders as well of black people. But this has been happening throughout a lot of their cities because that's what's been uplifted was that image. And they got black men walking all around me trying to intimidate me about this white supremacist country and this message and I'm not afraid because I'm gonna keep telling what I need to say. So then they, they found out that, oh, she knows uh, that we devils. So uh, we gotta kill her now. We gotta come after her and try and, and, and kill her now. And you know what, that's just ridiculous. God already told them to go and kill me. She not gonna stop saying Jehovah's name. She not gonna stop saying Jesus' name. She not. And she still saying don't kill her son. For real, for real. And she still saying she need a doctor. Yeah, for real, for real. And he said that before when they tried to murder me before my trial. And I pray to God that he stand on letting that have been the moment where he said they can do it and he stopped them and that he don't let them do it. Cause I know he can bring me back to life. I already know that. God done killed me before and brought me back to life. When I found out, when I, when I was doing them researches on them different religions, and then I got the hold of that Bible and was researching Jesus and why they kept attacking him. And he killed me. He killed me and everybody in this world. He killed all of us in my sight and brought me right back to heaven with him. And he showed me his power. And we all still alive, so I know what he can do. All that magic and sorcery that they be doing, it is nothing compared to what God can do. So if they do kill me and my children, he'll give us life again, okay? But I don't wanna have to go through all of this madness again. I want my child and I want my baby alive like my God showed me. So anyway, I was doing my researches on him and he showed me who he was. So they talking about, oh, they know who we are. I know who he is, okay? I already knew who y'all was. God just had to confirm it for me. Y'all are the wicked. I don't mean to say it like that. And they got this white woman coming over here, crackhead white woman across the street all in front of me, trying to do that white supremacist stuff. Uh-uh. That's satanic. It's just satanic. So, they over here uh, persecuting the children of God in their lands and shedding their blood. And it's black people that's still here, but it, they front men. It's a front. It's a front. They all racist. And they all worship white people. Uh, it's sad. Because Jesus, that's a heartbreak. That's a heartbreak when you really get to know God and you really get to know what they're doing in this country. It breaks your heart. 